Ah. Well, let's get started yet again. My name is Kaz, and this is Let's Play Diablo 2 with a bunch of skeletons. Let's see, you probably want to continue with Skulls, our level 20 necromancer. We've been doing pretty well so far. It's uh, Zanari. Minion number, what, three? Because we've had Dave, we had Paige, and now Zanari. Well, oh, I have my unsummon skill on. That is no good. Now, there were a number of things that we learned last time and some things that I left unsaid. There's plenty more to learn about the game. And we've Our first task, of course, is going to be getting our Daves back. Anytime you quit the game and come back, Dave goes away. Most other minions go away. There's one key exception that will make you happier about that exception, I do believe. Come on. Yep. Okay, you've got a funny walk cycle. Now, I confess, I don't remember exactly what we have going for us, so... Looks like... That's pretty good. Okay. That's probably good for him. My favorite piece of equipment is probably this one for the 20% faster run walk. That's very important. I have a weakness for extra gold from monsters. I confess that's my own thing. This is probably useless. It needs to be replaced. The magic items, probably not so important at this level. This one just has a lot of stuff. The Frost Nova is kind of cute. That's why we have it on. Ooh, a mechanic's wand. Alright, so it has a socket that I haven't used yet and probably never will because things that go in uh, weapon sockets are not the not what I kind of... Not what I want to do. It would make it a better attacking thing. But we don't need that. Eagle Jack Breastplate. Now here's a funny thing. Uh, armor has weight to it. The heavier your armor, the faster your stamina drains and the slower you go. Breastplate is the second highest defense value light armor. It actually counts as light armor, which is really great for us. And we're going to try to find breastplate and use that as much as we can because I like being able to run so that, uh, you know, Dave can do all my dirty work for me. I have a cap. I don't know how much I like. I mean, the resistances are good. Generally, you want resistances just for ranged attacks. They tend to be magic. Lightning and fire are the two most important ones because lightning monsters do a great deal of damage and fire monsters are all over the place. Ooh, replenish life plus five, so I actually do regenerate stuff. Okay. And, since I never showed it off, we have a swap. I can, I can have two different sets of things equipped and you can swap them with the W key. The reason I wasn't doing this before is that suddenly losing five of my raised skeleton would probably murder a Dave if I had one out. So. Let's see. Lightning resist is good. Again, my weakness. This probably needs to go right away. This is a, I mean, seven to life is not cutting it. I would rather have the inventory space at this level. So that's going to go away. Yes, greetings to you as well. Okay, let's see what we've got in the stash. A perfect doodad. A thing that I'm going to sell. Another thing I'm probably going to sell. My favorite thing of all. That's... Uh, oh! I could probably put that in the swap slot. So that I could have a curse. Now, the other thing about the swap, sl swap slot... That's kind of hard to say. Is that you can carry two different loadouts. You'll notice that as I swap, this icon is changing too in the in the bottom right. Well, I can put Amplify Damage on that. So now, if I need Amp Damage all of a sudden, I can swap. Can't do that here. I am not allowed to do it in town, but you get the idea. Alrighty, how much gold am I rocking? Not nearly enough for what I want to eventually buy, probably, but we'll see. Drognan here is the man. He has the best thing of all. Or, well, he has the possibility of having the best thing of all. I'm just going to give it a little check. Hmm, Bone Wall. Of course. 
because we definitely want bone wall. If you were any kind of normal person, plus three to corpse explosion would actually be pretty good. I am definitely not that, though. Uh, let's take a look at our stats. I have ten points just sort of open. I think I'm going to keep ten points open and just flood vitality with that and leave ten behind. Yep. Oh, I could actually use a scroll of town portal. Well, if you don't mind, sir, that'll be right into my belt. Just like that. Oh! Haha! -ha. Yes, now I remember the other thing that I wanted to do. Come to me, Lysander! Oh, oh yes. You and I are going to be part of a grand experiment. Let's see. Um, there is apparently a maximum rate at which you can buy these, and that's very frustrating. Yeah. I am clicking like mad. I wonder if there's a maximum rate at which you can drink them. I don't think that there is. Okay, great. We've got all the milk. <laughs> That'll be our second experiment tonight. Well, probably our first experiment. Of course, uh, before we venture forth into Kurast, talking to Mashif and all that, uh, we're gonna... Zanari, where'd you go? Get over here, you idiot. I swear. Just as soon as we get to the next difficulty level, you are fired. Well, okay, when we get to Act 2 in the next difficulty level, you are fired, you hear me? Fired. Okay, I say that for quite a while here. Okay, Zanari, you're gonna have to help me out. I need a corpse. Actually, I need ten corpses, but the first few will do. Come on. Yes. Alright, that's pretty good. I apparently can only afford two of those at the moment, which is fine. So get the I can't carry scrolls of town portal back. Oh, right, I, I bought all the milk. I won't feel safe until I have five. Zanari, come on! Daves are dying here. Well, they're not, but you get the idea. They could have been in danger. Not enough mana. I need mana. Okay, it's important to do that while you are while you are refreshing mana because if I take a mana potion here, it, re it recovers 80 points over time, and I only have 63 at a max. So if I waited for it all to go, I would not make use of those uh, extra. But since I was casting while doing it, that made use of the mana restoration. Healing and mana potions give you health or mana over time, whereas rejuvenation potions, this purple kind, give you that 35% or 100% right away in the case of full rejuvenation potions, which we haven't seen any of yet. I guess we could see some, huh? It's another bit of freelance alchemy available to us. Uh, well, let's see that. Yeah, we'll we'll get we'll get on that train a little later. For now, I think it's well past time that I stop teasing you guys and actually go to Kurost. Let's talk to Mashif. I'm Mashif. I have apparently I'm never Mashif. talked to him. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport and Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Oh, right. Good day. Let's see. Right, talk to Jaren. I failed to do that last time, so we're going to have to do that. Fortunately, running across town has never been easier. You have done very well. Yes, I have. Let's, I know I have done very well. Now let's let's get on with it. I mean, really, I did well in the company that I keep, which is a kind of doing well. Tells me I should take you east to Kurost. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim. 
Yes, it is pretty grim. It's so grim that I don't have the cinematics disc installed, so we're going to not uh, see how grim it is. Greetings. Aha! Okay, this is one thing that confused me about Act 3, even before anything happens here. This is Frotley. He's the armorer. He's the guy in town who repairs your stuff. This is the only time in the act that he appears in this location, and that messed me up for the longest time. Because Kurost is actually pretty big, because it has all these bridges connecting little island bits. Let's see what Mashif has to say before we well, talk to him. I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Well, I will I will manage the stopping of it. It it will be stopped by I you know, the the crew. That's basically me. Now let's talk to Hrotley. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warning holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancore, located within Karas, deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. Okay, well, cool, and all that. Uh, Ratley is the most gougy of repair guys. So he will overcharge you for his stuff. I think we'll talk to Ormus next time. I wanna, I wanna get on with the fighting already. Okay. Uh, now look, the thing about Act Three is that you don't get a quest right away. You have to, you have to go out in search of it. Oh yeah, sure. No, follow me to danger, Deckard Kane. No, no, come on, right through the gates. You'll be fine. Right past Dave. Make your way. All right, so now begins the experiment. So when you drink a stamina potion, you get 30 seconds of max stamina. However, I'm told that it stacks. Well, go get him. Oh, hey, that's, that's kind of neat. Yeah, what the heck. Drink a Thawing Potion too. That gives me 70 cold resistance. In case there are any cold attacks coming up, which none of the monsters around here will innately do. Alright, so, the first thing that we actually want to find is a kill for you, Zanari. Come on, you gotta kill something, buddy. Or an enemy has to harm him. That's what it takes for him to turn on his aura. And then again, I guess if you know we're not in danger or anything, we don't need his aura. It's just very annoying. Lots of potions tonight. So let's see. Uh, that should have been 32 to 18 minutes of max stamina, there, give or take. So we'll be at max stamina for a while. 
You know, just in case you wanted to make this throwaway mechanic even more of a joke. Ah, finally. It's very good. Yeah, sounds like things are going swimmingly. Oh, okay, that was a fetish shaman. All these old guys are fetishes. They're the upgraded rat men. I'll take a balanced knife, why not? Upgraded rat men from Act 1, if you remember them in the catacombs. There are also spiders in this act, by the way, so if you are uh, squeamish about spiders, you might want to just skip ahead when I finally accomplish something in, a, in another act, maybe. Okay, and an antidote potion. That'll, that'll give me some resistances, too. I don't have any use for that. What am I thinking? Oh, hey. We finally found an elite mob. Worthless statue. Perhaps I can trade this for something better. Well, let's let's see about that. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years. Yeah, but about the other thing. There we go. The chief told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. So yes, killing our first elite in Act 3, or at least the first one that spawns, not necessarily the first one that we kill, will drop a figurine. This little thingy makes the same noise as the Herodric Cube. Please, you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. All right, so he gave us this other thing, the golden bird, which also makes the same noise. This is the Roderick Cube. We talk to Cain. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly, his ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale. And for no reason, that means we want to talk to someone that we haven't met yet. Alcor. Good day. Act three is just overloaded with excellent NPCs. What what can you do? Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're a necromancer, aren't you? I've heard that your kind use powerful potions and such to wake the dead and control spirits. I do use powerful no, potions. That's what components you use sometimes. I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves myself, and I can sell you some if you really need them. Uh, feel free to drop by any time. And how about now? <sighs> the Golden Bird of Quile? Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. Right, and by a return he means talk to him again immediately. What can I do for you? From the ashes of Quile, I have mixed for you a potion. That was quick. This is the potion of life. Permanently adds twenty to life. Ta-da! It's pretty cool. It's a cool little thing. Not in town. Okay, let's. There we go. You can click on the bottom half of your health orb to make the number stay there permanently. Same thing with the mana orb, in case you just want to be overloaded with information all the time. Let's see, we have a dandy arrangement of potions. Let's see what we can do with this. Identify that and probably throw it away. Oh, and right, accomplishing that gives us another quest. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto, you... Right, uh, got it. What he means is, collect different stuff and then combine it with the cube. Almost like the last act. 
Oh, one of nine lightning damage. That would be so good for absolutely anyone else. Let's sell that to Alcor, because I don't feel like talking to Ormus and having even more dialogue. Yes. Okay, good. Search for his eye. Hmm. I'll have to fashion Kaleem's will. Well, let me see if... Should be able to do this regardless of the quality of the potions. Yep. So, that's uh, three health potions and three mana potions of any quality, plus a chipped gem will give you a rejuvenation potion. Three rejuvenation potions will give you a full rejuvenation potion, which, frankly, you probably shouldn't need all that much of. Still at max stamina, though. I did. I really did buy myself 18 minutes, didn't I? Well, time to get on with it, I'd say. Since now we know that we're here to destroy Mephisto, the Lord of Fists. Alright, as I was saying about fetishes, we have two different ty kinds. There are the melee ones, who can wield either tiny little spears or these gigantic little carver knives. Which are really dangerous looking, and they are pretty dangerous. And they also have the blow dart ones. The fetish shaman is the one who stands on the shoulders of another. He has white hair instead of black. And he will breathe fire on you, and the fire is actually pretty freaking damaging, so you want to stay away from it. It's not that big a deal on normal difficulty, but... Uh, in later difficulty levels, they get a huge skill bonus to their Inferno skill, which uh, makes them pretty damn dangerous with it. Because the flame can hit you from a long way away. I will take your money. Ah, there's the scroll of Town Portal that I wanted. Let's see, greater mana potion should replace that. There. Couldn't make that greater, greater. Probably want to replace that here. Clean up my inventory. I don't know what I'm going to do with an Ith rune. I might just sell it. There is Ith LF. Hmm. That would be an okay weapon. Maybe not, frankly. Let's see, we also have these apes. We saw some of these in Act 2. Not these specific kinds, but the red ones. They're not terribly dangerous. Sometimes they run away when they're at low health. Although, we're going to be damaging them down way too quickly for that to happen. Ooh, a stamina potion. Excellent. Did you hear the noise? I imagine by now you're as used to it as I am. Hmm. Horned helm and antlers. Yeah, it looks like we can still get log jammed on the... I mean... Uh... <laughs> On the log bridge. Let's see. Ah, now, there's a side area that we're looking for that says the Spider Cavern. Well, just to throw you for a loop, there are two things that are sort of named Spider Cavern. One of them is actually named Spider Cavern, and the other is named the Arachnid Layer. See, this is the bonus dungeon. It's right next to the waypoint. In case you want to quickly get to a dungeon that you never ever have to go into. Ugh. It's gross. I should not click on those anymore. Now, having done with one side area, let's try and find the next. Oh, I'm down a Dave. 
How'd that happen? You villager corpses. Ugh. Oh, it's, something happened to that poor bird. I I don't know what's happening there. I think his animation got frozen. Well, that's it's kind of a shame. I'll kick open baskets, sure. Well, things are going rather well so far. I haven't run into any problematic monsters. Thankfully, the blow darts do not pierce, so if they hit Dave, they won't hit me. Ooh, a rare short battle bow. Well, we have no use for that, so we're not going to do anything with it. Oh. Now, the Fetish Shaman, I haven't seen them do this in years, but they do have an ability to raise fetishes. They don't use it as frequently as Fallen Shaman by a long shot. And it might have even been removed. I know I've seen it before, like, you know, in previous editions of the game. The way we're going, we're not going to see it, though. We're just killing them too fast. And since he has the Inferno ability, he has, like, a lot of wind-up to that. Do I want another Rejuvenation Potion? I don't think I do. Well, anyway. Let's go to the Spider Cavern. By the way, this place is full of spiders. Now, we do have a word about super unique monsters. There should be one here named... Well, not Grameen the Jagged, that is a regular unique monster. Should be one in here named Zark the Burning. He is always a spider, he's always in here, and he always has the same mods. There's that part about them always spawning that I neglected to mention before, I thought it was pretty obvious. Oh, well, there's L. So you're that much closer to Ith L F. Let's see, yeah, he should be around this treasure chest here. Whoop! A flame spider. Ooh, stamina potion! Yes, please! <laughs> Keep my stamina alive! And maxed out at 148. Daves! I'm being beaten to death here. Excuse me. That poison is really doing work. Fortunately, even though I am poisoned, I am still replenishing my health thanks to the regeneration amulet. The same is not true for monsters. If a monster is poisoned, it will not regenerate. Which is good, because monsters have a really high regeneration rate. If you leave them alone, even on normal difficulty, if you leave them alone for too long... Ooh, an unraveler head. They will just get right back up to full. I heard an amulet drop, but I don't see it. Where is it? Ah, way up here. Well, there we go. So, where are you, Zark the Burning? Should be just around the corner. That is junk. Doesn't have any auto mods. Not worth a thing. Okay. Yep, there he is. Zark the Burning. Extra strong and cursed. If he hits one of my Daves, it will cast the Curse, which will then propagate over an area and probably get all of them. So now we pick up a Disgusting Eye, because we absolutely have to. Let's not touch it if we can avoid it. Just leave it in the backpack there. I made myself a little sick from thinking about that. Yeah, this Rejuvenation Potion is probably tainted too. Let's just make our way out of here, Dave. Next up, we have to go somewhere else and pick up another disgusting relic left behind by a saint. Oh, I seem to have make it, made a loop, because it is difficult to interpret this map. There we go, there we go. Now, of course, I would have to go around... Alright, still at 10 Daves, still at max stamina, and now plus one eye! Plus one eye! 